When you talk about Rye, you're talking about American history. I mean, there's just no question about it. The death of Rye, sad. The debasement of the name of Rye, tragic. People assume the history of distilling in America sprung from Kentucky and Tennessee, but really until the Civil War, most distilling happened in New York, Boston, Philadelphia. Prohibition in some ways reset everything. There was a tremendous movement of interest in rediscovering historic American cocktails. What were we drinking pre-prohibition? And that was the moment of, well, one of the major components was cocktails with American rye whiskey. I built a little stovetop still. I got the design off a website called dangerouslabs.com. I built it and it worked. <laughs> we started to make rye whiskey, but struggled with it until Nicole. You know, small barrel aging was such a topic of conversation then. That New York Times article, it was basically like, you're dumb, you're terrible, your whiskey is bad, and it always will be. And actually, that was the rye from Kings County that won a double gold at San Francisco. We were gathering with a bunch of us from New York State. We just kind of got on the topic of, you know, how can we make New York well-known in the spirits industry? Christopher had such vision. His enthusiasm was really palpable. Two New York City distilleries, two Hudson Valley distilleries, a Finger Lakes distillery and a Buffalo Rochester area distillery involved in the discussion. New York State had created this beast of, of small distillers. Why did we keep it secret? I might regret this uh, answer. Um... When we announced it, there was a, a bit of pushback. And then the craft whiskey started getting better. And it started getting better. And it started getting better. We only make rye, so we thought that, that was obviously the, the right answer. <laughs> I always say when opportunity knocks, I want to open the door. <laughs> I saw the traction that it had with our stores and customers. I believe that Empire Rye will be recognized as one of the great American whiskey styles. You can really geek out on rye in a way that you honestly can't geek out on bourbon. Making whiskey is an act of love. Making rye is masochism.